Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. This video, we are going to be talking about the SQL Workshop or SQL. However you want to pronounce it, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is we want to create some data and uh, get started working with the data layer. So what we're going to do is go to the SQL Workshop. And in here, you're going to see some recently created tables. Again, these tables are from the applications that we have created using the, the app gallery and from a file. But you may get to the point where you want to create some of your own tables and start working with some of your own data. So over the next couple videos, I'm going to be talking about what you need to know to start working with data inside of Apex. And I'm also going to be teaching a little bit about some of the database fundamentals. And it should be pretty fun. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are. And now let's just get started with the object browser. All right, so this is where a bunch of junk comes up. And this is where you can view any data for a particular table. So for example, we can look at orders and you'll get information about the table. So if you don't have a foundation in relational databases, that's fine. You can still use Apex. You can still create awesome applications. In fact, one of the benefits of using Apex is that a lot of this stuff is abstracted away from you, so you don't have to know all of the details. But it is good to have a pretty basic understanding. So basically, inside of databases, everything is structured inside of tables. And tables are split up into columns, and they have a bunch of rows. So looking at the data, you can see these columns here, and each one of these is known as a row. So it looks like we're showing 10 rows here. In addition to tables, you can also have views. So going into this dropdown, you can select views, and views are essentially a new view of the data. So we might combine tables, or we might change the way, uh, it actually doesn't look like we have any views here, but we're going to create some views probably in the future, so it is good to know that they exist. Again, views just allow you to look at the data in a different way. All right, now let's go click this arrow to go back to the SQL Workshop and look around and see what else there is. The next thing on here is the SQL Commands button. Here you can put SQL in directly if you know that. Just as an example, you can say select 5 plus 5 from, and then say dual, D-U-A-L, and then click Run, and that'll give you the result down here, 10. You can also select from tables, so you can say select star, which will grab all of the columns, from I think the table was named tasks and then run and you can see we can get the data this way if you create a query that you really like you can click save give it a cool name save it and this is going to show up in the saved SQL section where you can see some of your favorite queries all right now let's go back next thing I want to show you is the utilities and here is a lot of useful information. The first thing I want to show you is the sample data sets. So if you want to basically start with some data and then build an application from this data, you can do that here. So here are some different samples and you can just click install if you're interested in doing that. We're actually going to create some data ourselves. So we're going to skip this, but this is a great place to start if you're interested. So let's go back to the utilities. And the next thing I wanted to point out on here is quick SQL. So what is this exactly? Quick SQL allows us to create SQL or SQL. I keep switching the way I'm saying it, but I don't think it really matters. Basically, like the name would imply, it allows us to create SQL very quickly. So for example, I can create a table in here by just saying users and typing in some columns and look at all this SQL that comes up over here. So the next video, we're gonna be talking about the key things you need to know about Quick SQL because it's a powerful tool, not only for building out your data, but if you're trying to learn SQL, well, you can type out some stuff over here and get the appropriate SQL over here to help you to study up on some different things. So hopefully you're excited for that. Please be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.